Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, if y'all can tell by the title, we are going to be doing a skincare routine slash how I prevent acne. As y'all can see, I have really clear skin. I did just wake up. Like, I have pretty clear skin, nothing too bad. Um, these aren't bumps, these are freckles. So, yeah. Skin's not bad at all. Stay tuned for the video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn the post notification bell so that whenever I post a video, you guys are notified. Okay, so first thing I use is this CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. This works wonders, y'all. Mind you, I know like a lot of like acne and stuff comes from um genetics and my family does not have a lot of acne like my family doesn't get acne a lot um so I was kind of born with it because I never really get acne unless it's like that time of the month I'll get like one bump like right here but it's really cool I get um but yeah so I use this for the to wash my face okay yeah so basically first what you're what i do is i wet my face first and then you're gonna put that on or put the cerave and rub it in to your face um i usually like put my little um bonnet up just so that i can wash my edges because i do do my edges a lot um so i just rub it in there really good and y'all want to make sure you get your neck and behind your ears just because That'd be dirty too. I know you can wash it in the shower, but it's always good to like wash it when you wash your face. And just make sure you get your eyebrows, all that good stuff. Really get your neck because it really be, you know. And then I usually wash or rinse it off with um, warm water. I really like hot water, but that opens your pores more. So I just use warm water. Um, and yeah, when I rinse it off, just make sure... I get my neck y'all I really do not like this part I do not like water in my face but if you want clear skin girl you gotta wash your face and here I am washing my edges just because I did do my edges yesterday and they had some gel still left in them Um, I do do this at night too but I don't know why Um, I still had gel maybe I just didn't get it all but yeah I literally hate this part as y'all can see on my face Okay, y'all, so this is after a wash face. And I do wash my edges as well. If y'all do your edges, you should wash them because you don't want, like, that prevents, like, from them turning white, too. If you want them, um, I always wash my edges whenever I wash my face. So now my skin is, like, super dry after I wash it because I do have really oily skin, but after I wash it, it gets so dry off, like, I look so pale right now. Okay, y'all, so after I do that, I take a little, whatever these are called, cotton pad, and I use this with hazel. I put it somewhere, here. and then I just go ahead and wipe. Then we'll see if the Sarah got any, so, I need dirt on my face. So y'all, yeah, it's not that dirty. I'll shut y'all after I'm done. Uh, make sure y'all get your this area, your T area, and make sure y'all clean your neck too, cause you want a dirty neck. Okay, so this, it's really not that dirty. Like, it's pretty clear. Clear. Um. So yeah, I just wipe it and then. I let it dry on its own. I don't mess with it. So I kind of just do this. And then once it's dry, okay, so then once it's dry, you always, always, always want to have a moisturizer. Even, even if it's like face oil, anything like that, because you don't want your skin to be dry, you know? 
and then witch hazel dries out your skin a little bit well for me it does it dries out my skin a little bit so you always always want to have a moisturizer so i use the cerave moisturizing cream um this cream is really good i use all cerave products um just because cerave is really really good for my skin and i have really really sensitive skin so if you have really really sensitive skin i suggest using cerave but this is what i use to moisturize my face sometimes i'll use face oil but i don't have any right now so um i'll put it down below what face oil i use but i don't have any more right now so we're just gonna put this and you all don't need a whole bunch like a little goes a long way like this is probably too much but all you gotta do is rub it in like make sure you get this area i know for me this area right here gets super dry or oily it's like one or the other but that area so you kind of just gotta rub it in make sure y'all get your neck eyebrows And your eyelids. Okay. This is how my face is looking after I washed it. As y'all can see, I do have a bump right there. And that's probably from doing my edges. So, I do have an acne cream that I use. So, we're going to go ahead and put a acne cream on there. This is the acne cream I use. But you know, like I said, I don't leave really the acne. It's really only about like when it's close to that time of the month, or clearly if I'm doing my edges because there's a bump right here. So we're just gonna put a little tiny bit, and we're gonna take a Q-tip and just dab it in, and then over not overnight, but. Let the medicine work and it usually just does what it does. Alright y'all, so this is how my face is looking after the moisturizer. And um, after the moisturizer, I washed it. So yeah, um, I use, like I said, I usually use face oil to make my skin glow a little bit more. But I don't have any right now, I don't have any more. Um, so yeah, I'll put a link down below what face oil I use but yeah y'all if y'all have any questions um where I get the products anything like that make sure y'all comment down below um and make sure y'all like this video and of course I'm gonna be posting more for y'all so yeah make sure y'all like comment subscribe to our post notification bell so that whenever I post a video you guys are notified and I will see y'all in the next one